it's all programmed. That that was kind of a. It's interesting. I, I think everything happened three years ago. It was probably more like about fifteen or eighteen years ago. Um, I remember a, a guy that I know for, who used to be with a big publishing company, ATV, phoned me up, and he was working for a company called Caraco, which was a film producer at the time. They were producing this movie called Iron Eagle Two, an art piece, and. Um, they had some Canadian tax credit situation where they had to have a lot of Canadian music, so they wanted to involve someone. So the guy phoned me and said, hey, do you want to work on this project? And I've always had a real interest in film and television. I've always thought that sooner or later those things would, would start to you know, merge to some, ex some extent. So uh, I got involved in, and uh, music supervised this film, and it was really, I really enjoyed it. I, I, you know, I was part of that creative process as opposed to just representing the creative process, so I really enjoyed that. Then I thought, well, we should really we should get into this, and so we set up a music supervision department, and we started to music supervise television feature films. So we've done them, you know, films from all over the world, but we're in Canada, so it's mostly Canada with uh, horrifically small budgets. Um, but it's a, uh, it was something that not only did I enjoy, but I saw it as a possible outlet for uh, you know for some of our talent, whereas you see radio shrinking their formats, and it's so difficult to get new talent you know, exposed, and back then there was no such thing as the internet, so I thought here's another opportunity to get, you know, music out in front of people, which of course since that time is just so prolific, I mean every film has, you know, has a soundtrack, has a bunch of pop songs or whatever.